Good morning. Would you please stand for the presentation of the colors? Would you, please jo Would you please join me for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Welcome to Cornerstone Faith Community Church on this very special and solemn day when we gather together, together to give thanks to God and remember all those men and women who selflessly answered duties and faithfully served this great nation in its time of its greatest need. Today, our order of worship takes a bit of departure from our normal routine. Today, we focus our hearts on remembering service paid, lives lost, freedom secured. Memorial Day was originally known as Decoration Day. It was a time set aside to honor the nation's Civil War heroes by decorating their graves. It was first observed on May 30th, 1868 to commemorate the sacrifice of and offer the gratitude of a grateful nation. During the first Decoration Day, a General James Garfield gave a speech at Arlington National Cemetery, after which more than 5,000 participants helped to decorate graves of the more than 20,000 Union and Confederate soldiers buried in that hallowed ground. The first observance inspired local observances of a like manner throughout towns and villages in the United States. By the late 1800s, many, if not most, communities across the nation had begun to celebrate Decoration Day. 
After World War I, it was encouraged that these observances should include all those who had died across all of America's participation in war. In 1966, at the direction of President Lyndon B. Johnson, Waterloo, New York was declared the official birthplace of Memorial Day because the town had become famous for their annual community-wide observance of Decoration Day since its inception. Every year, businesses in Waterloo, New York would close and residents of the entire town would decorate the graves of local soldiers with both flowers and flags. In 1971, an act of Congress declared Memorial Day a national holiday to be celebrated the last Monday of May each year. Brothers and sisters, as one who has served in the United States Armed Forces, I can assure you of this. The sacrifice that we have here to honor and remember today is more than deserving of every word, song, and prayer we offer. Jesus said that there is no greater honor than to lay down one's life for his friends. The Battle of the Bulge, the shores of Normandy, the jungles of Vietnam, Laos, or Cambodia, or the dusty deserts of Iraq, Kuwait, or Afghanistan, Every time Lady Liberty has called her sons have answered faithfully. What we do here today is more than just patriotic and more than just simply American. Today is about thankfulness, gratitude, and honor for those who gave their fullest and final measure of devotion for us. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Let's stand and worship with thankful hearts.